hey hi everyone welcome back to another video of java for selenium in this video we'll mainly focus on arrays in java so arrays is a very basic concept in every programming language not only in java but we have some advanced concepts called array list list set so these are very advanced topic but before jumping into these advanced topics you should know the arrays because we are going to use arrays as well while working with strings so in selenium you will get this requirement multiple times to work with uh, string arrays and while working with data driven testing using data providers you have to use the 2d arrays as well so let's get started what is array how to create array how to assign values or how to retrieve values from array and how to create 2d arrays and finally the limitation of the array so this is a standard definition which we are getting from our college time like array is a collection of similar data type so what does it mean so for this let me jump into a, a new package first i will create a separate package called array demo here i will create a separate class called single array demo i will take public static void main so if you have certain records let's say you have a student five student records so i have one approach i can store students marks in this way or else i need some standard way through which i can avoid all this stuff so as we can see all these numbers are of similar data type integer or float or character so to avoid this you can use a uh, arrays collection of similar data type so you can have array of integer array of string array of character doubles and so on you can have array of anything in java so we have a separate syntax which you need to follow first you need to define the data type which kind of array you want then give very again uh, give very meaningful name of the array bracket equal to new and again the data type with the size so let's say i want to create array of integers and let's say my array name should be students id equal to new and i need to add this bracket equal to new integer and max student i want 5 so right now when you write this statement internally in java it will create five memory allocations for you and each memory will take 4 uh, byte of memory so this complete array will take 4 into 5 20 bytes of memory now by default they will have value of 0 so if you need to assign certain values okay so this is the array which we are creating and if you need to give values array will start with index is 0 so if you need to assign any value so let's say you want to fill any value at the first place you need to say arr bracket and the index so i will say in students id zero index i want to give 89 i have taken 5 so at first index i will say 45 12 and index i will change to 2 3 and this i will mention 890 and this should be 980 any value which you want so i array of five numbers five integers you can say and when you assign these value internally it will look like in this way right now these are the dummy values but actually you will have the values which you have specified in your program in our case it is 89451289090 so it will assign all them in this order so it will be in a consecutive memory location so you can directly use them uh retrieve them using index so let's say i need a particular student id i will say student 
id is i need the third student so i will say student underscore id 2 so if i say 2 it will give me the third number which is nothing but a 12 right it's giving you let's say i need of fourth number so it should return me 980 now we can see we have allocated a 20 byte of memory using this standard array and we have assigned the value and while retrieving i need to give only the index it will return me the value now you will get your first exception in java what if i try to access fifth element sixth element sorry because it starts with zero if i say fifth so it should return me the sixth value but we have allocated till zero to four so if you run this java will throw you one meaningful exception and exception name is array out of bound exception if you want to see double click on it array index out of bound exception and it says five and it says it's coming at line number 20 so if you click on it it will redirect here and as we can see here we are trying to access illegal memory which has been not assigned so you have to always check the size of the array and then retrieve the element if i give minus one then let's run it again again it says array index out of bound exception because this we have not assigned and it start with zero so you cannot give minus value at all so right now we have seen like we have the limitation of size here so this limitation you need to keep in mind so this is the first limitation limitation of array i have to give i need to remember the exact size of the array then only i can retrieve now second limitation which you will see if I try to assign any other value let's say I want to assign 89.0 which is nothing but a double so it will not allow in an integer array because we already defined it will only accept integer value so if I have to assign this value so I have to type cast to integers so this is the down casting from double we are converting integer so now it will accept but we have to type cast so second limitation you can understand limitation of type we cannot assign any other value apart from integer right so this is one limitation which is size second limitation is type to avoid these two we have advanced thing called array list that we will discuss later as of now this is the first program let's copy paste the same program copy okay let's remove this copy one so right now <coughs> we are getting one value but let's say you want to get retrieve all the values so now we are familiar with for loop while loop right so now we can use that loop statements to get all the values first of all i should know the size of it so i will say size of array so if you type this student id and if you simple type dot length dot length so it will return you the length of that array so if you want to print you can print i will say total students or let's say length of the array uh, size of array so whatever size we have it will print now I need to run a for loop but if you want to check the length let's run this program again so you can see length of the array is 5 even though it start with 0 that is the indexing thing but length you will get 5 so now if you need to run a for loop I will say for start with 0 because array start with 0 so I will start with 0 less than to the size of the array then I plus plus 
I need to retrieve all the values and here I will say students ID is students ID and I will mention I here in spite of giving 1 2 3 I have directly specified I so if you run this program at first iteration I value will be 0 so it will print the first then it will increment by 1 I value will be 1 so 1 will be replaced here so it will continue till 0 to 4 why it is going till 4 because I have not given equal to if I give equal to it will throw array out of bound exception as of now let's run it so you can see it's printing array length is 5 and it's retrieving all the value and if I give equal to what will happen it will start with 0 and it will go till 5 so it after executing all the students ID it will throw an exception call array out of bound exception because it is trying to access the sixth element which we have not assigned so always make sure you are giving the exact limit here right so this is one dimensional array how to get all the values how to retrieve all the values and uh, how we can use for loop to get the values if you want to use while loop here you can also use that you can take as an assignment because while loop also runs in the same manner so we have seen a 1d array but what about 2d arrays 2d array will come into this format you need to specify how many rows you want how many columns you want and remaining process will be same so to initialize 2d array let me create a separate program and if you want any other kind of array let's say you need array of string so I will say string and I will say this time a student's name e bracket equal to new string and I will give five so I need five students name then remaining process will be same here at zeroth position I will give any name Mukesh and you can again get all the first push all the values then retrieve using for loop this will remain same so let's create another example for 2d array I will say 2d array demo it says name conflict so I will give 2d array demo So if you need to work with 2D arrays, syntax will be almost same, only one bracket will uh, increase. So let's say I need integer array again and this time I will say it's a school equal to new int. So the first bracket will ask you how many rows we want so I will say I need two rows and I need three columns so now only you need to specify one more bracket so now first bracket will ask you rows how many columns then if you need to assign the values let me put two two so that I can quickly enter the values I will say school zero zero and let's say it 12 so at first row first column we are entering 12 first row second column I want to enter 24 now second row first column I want to enter 36 and second row but and second column I want to enter 48 
so this is my array internally it will create a this kind of a structure two rows and two columns so it will be like this so this is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so 12 then it will go 24 36 and finally 48 so this is how it will store now if you need to retrieve any value you can do the same thing type school and let's say I need last value first second row second column we are giving index here here so always make sure you are working with index so let's run this program and you will notice it will return you 48 now if I give any other random index which does not exist as we have seen it will throw me array index out of bond exception yes and again line number 14 so this is throwing me error here so you need to always make sure what is the type you are using what is the size you are using and you can create 2d arrays 3d arrays based on your requirement but in selenium we will use only 2d arrays and 1d array so hope now you're clear enough with the array concepts we got two limitations while working with uh, arrays like we still we are limited to type and size as well it will be size to overcome through this we have array list list and list you have set as well sorry so we'll discuss that as well in the next videos so yes we have covered all the topics thank you so much have a nice day